As you're all aware by now, the Norseman has survived 2020, even though no event took place. This is only possible due to the loyalty and support of sponsors like Zalaris, Renault, Bundegruppen, and all our other partners, as well as you, the athletes and supporters around the world that breathe life into this great race year after year. The plan is to return in 2021 when we can hopefully stage a race that is as safe as it will be spectacular. 2020 is nearing its end, ladies and gentlemen, and it will go down as a year that will long be remembered, but seldom fondly. It's a year that has changed the world we used to know forever. And what it leaves us with remains to be seen. Some of us have lost loved ones along the way. Almost all of us have lost out financially and in terms of opportunity. But the night is darkest just before the dawn, and we know that soon this too will pass. I first heard of the coronavirus back in February, and I'm willing to guess that as many of us did, I thought it was just a little bit over-exaggerated. I remember the previous scares to do with the avian flu and SARS, and how the doom mongers had predicted the end of the world, only for those diseases to die out seemingly as quickly as they had arrived on our shores. How wrong I was. On the 17th of March this year, the European Soccer Championships were cancelled. Shortly after that, the Tokyo Olympics were put on ice. One by one, sporting events fell by the wayside as we struggled to contain and to control this invisible virus. The Norseman was quickly added to the list of cancellations. And anyone who knows anything about this race would understand why. Perhaps more than any other race in the world, the Norseman is a tribute. It's an homage to Mother Nature. And when she decides it's not safe for us to play, then we don't play. Our race is a collective undertaking, the result of thousands of hours of work by athletes and organizers and volunteers, painted on a canvas that stretches over 220 kilometers of the rugged Norwegian countryside. There was no way a safe race could be held. We accepted the warning of Mother Nature, but we want her to allow us to visit her again as soon as possible. We're ready and we're waiting. We can be delayed, but we cannot be denied. For those of you familiar with the Norseman course, 2020 as a year has been Zombie Hill, a test of strength and spirit that has been a trial even for the toughest of the tough. But as those who have reached the top of the mountain will tell you, Zombie Hill is only part of the journey. And so too with 2020. And when you finally get past Zombie Hill and past the climb that follows, you get to the top of that mountain. The crisp, clean air fills your lungs and Zombie Hill looks tiny from above. What was once a mighty, almost insurmountable challenge is reduced to mere scratches on a map, robbed of its power by our enduring spirit. 2021 is now the top of our mountain, and our first task is to go back to the start and to dream it all up all over again. The pandemic has forced us to change not just how we do things, but why. The endurance athletes among us know that much of the suffering is done alone, but in the best of worlds, that need never be lonely. We surround ourselves with like-minded people and we spur each other on to things greater than any of us can imagine. Our limits are being tested. Our powers are being tested. Our spirit is being tested. And if we come all through all of this, we owe it to those who don't make it to carry on this legacy, to honor their memory by doing what it is that unites us all striving for that Olympian spirit of Cetius, Altius, Fortius, higher and faster and stronger, but even more so by doing it all together. For no man or woman makes it to the top of the mountain alone in the Norseman. For the last stage, they are always supported, encouraged, urged on by their team. And at the top, they are met by those who have ensured their safe passage and they are embraced in the warmth of an unforgettable achievement. My friends, we will remember 2020, even if it won't be fondly, but the best way to banish old memories is to forge new ones. This is what 2021 is for. To begin to relive the lives that we put on hold, 
to seize the opportunities that this year will offer and to do so in a spirit of community further strengthened by what we have all been through together. We've waited a long time and we still have to wait just a little bit longer. But believe me, sooner or later, when all of this is over, we'll once again be swimming in Eidfjord. And I can't wait to see you there.